In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to modify an existing tube file and turn it into a new tube file. One of the tubes I'll be using will be an embellishment design from graphicextras.com. Right, file, open. Now, file open can actually open tube files as well as PSP tube files. Just going to select one of them. So, it's a selection of tube files. There's one, open. Now you'll see the marching ants around there. It's actually a selection. So I'm just going to, as long as you modify within the actual selection you've got there, you can actually just, so I'm just going to apply just a very basic effect, which would be adjust, brightness, contrast, or maybe a color, colorize. So I'm just going to quickly colorize it. Say so maybe turn it into a green design, something like that. Also, you could say apply a blur, blur more. And as soon as you've done that, as long as you save it exactly as it is, so file, export, picture tube. And I'm just going to bring up the export picture tube dialog and just give it a new name. So test tube and keep the same settings if you wish but you can also if you wish you can change these settings also you could change the cell arrangement as well if you wish to make maybe an abstract design if you're just using one obviously one single cell you can actually split it into multiple cells as well great quite weird designs so anyway I'm just going to go with the basic one one design okay now just get rid of that, new, and got a document open here. So I'm just going to select the picture tube, view, palettes, tool options, and you'll see the various designs here that were that are already loaded. And there's the test tube file we just, just created. So you can just apply that. Just like that. 